Hi, I just wanted to do a video demo of this uh, Starwind uh, iSCSI software. It's free. For, there, there's a paid version, but this is the free version. Basically, it's a iSCSI target server, and it's got built-in deduplication, and it'll do like uh, inline 4K uh, block size deduplication. So what I did to set this up was I have it actually installed in a virtual 2008 server and I mounted a uh, 40 gigabyte um, virtual machine like a hard disk a, uh, a virtual disk it's on a um, Samsung 128 gigabyte SSD and I'll show you the drive right now I have a couple other things on this drive but um, here is the uh, SSD drive um, it's a uh, Samson P, I think it's a Samson PM830. So inside of this uh, virtual machine, I set up a uh, 40 gigabyte or a set, a, set up a device mounted uh, with this virtual disk. And I set up a di device with a deduplication on it and an iSCSI target. And I set the, the size to uh, 200 gigabytes. And it's in my e-volume, e which uh, the e-volume inside the machine is actually only 40 gigabytes. Yeah, 39 gigs. But uh, So I just created a uh, 200 gigabyte volume with the 4K uh, deduplication block size and uh, two, um, two gigabytes of device cache. And then I mounted it to my uh, physical laptop. So here it is. I have this volume mounted. And what I did was I used it to create more of these um, Win 2000 dupe servers. So I created three Windows 2008 R2 installations. And I installed them from scratch. These weren't virtual clones or linked clones. I installed them from scratch and I'm running all the updates on them and I'm running all the um, you know installation of all the applications and all the patches and stuff so I have them in three different folders and like this is the last one that's still installing that one's nine gigs and these are thin provision um, eight gigs for that one this one's at 8.7 gigs and each one of these has about two gigs of RAM now I'm patching like four or three installations of Windows um, 2008 server right now, so the CPU load's pretty high. And there's a lot of RAM usage, but for this uh, 2008 box, where I have the uh, Starwind service, it's only using about four gigs of RAM, so it's not that much, and CPU usage is actually pretty nominal. So, but for the volume, the actual physical storage, it is using only 10 gigs. 10 gigs of uh, storage space in the metadata, which has all the links to the actual physical storage, is about um, one gigabyte too, so 11 gigabytes. And then on my uh, physical machine for the mounted iSCSI target, It is showing total usage of um, 32 gigs of RAM, or 32 gigs of hardware space. So 10, you know, 11 gigs, 32, that's, that's pretty good savings. So So I'm going to start this benchmark tool. Keep in mind, my system's, you know, it's almost maxed out. And there's uh, a total of four machines that are actually using this installation, so.
this is the target machine that's doing all the uh, deduplication operations. So this machine's still rebooting from service packs. This one's still running the uh, 4K test. This one's installing updates. This is all happening on the same data store. So it doesn't kind of surprise me that this is, you know, pretty crappy. Now my physical machine, it's it's uh, the CPU's about tapped out. It's Eighty percent. That's pretty uh, pretty much about tapped out. So maybe for the 4K writes, pretty much all CPU. This is the uh, this is the virtual machine, not the physical machine. Physical machines at so it's like sixty. I think I have this over. Um, it would actually be bouncing out of the physical. Uh, the uh, I was doing the four K write test, forty five megabytes per second on the sixty four thread uh, write test, and the CPU usage is way up. It's still pretty high, and this is still running updates in the background. Read test. CPUs, which is still pretty high for the read test. So the test is finished. So that's pretty good considering you get three of the machines powered on the same drive. Alright, so let's take a look at this storage. All the storage for this machine is stored on the uh, primary. So you look at the disk. It says uh, 10.4 gigs used for this. I, I mix these together. I said, okay, here, this is mounted. The mounted iSCSI folder has this total storage at uh, 34.2 gigs. And then this, this is where it's actually located under this machine. DD folder. 15 gigs. So about half of this has probably got some extra VMware growth in there for like auto expand, but that's it. Pretty sweet. Test I want to do, and this is just to, uh, just if I was to copy and paste the uh, virtual machines in this folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy them. I shut them all down before I did this. So now I'm pasting them. Get about 68 megabytes per second, right? But let's see if it's actually writing. CPU usage is really high. It's at 60% inside of the virtual machine. This is getting about 33.8 megabytes. I'm assuming that this whole thing is, you know, the whole time it's doing this is looking up on the hard drive um, to see if the data bits already exist. Okay, finished copying now. So I pretty much have a backup copy inside of the same drive, 28 gigs of space. Go pull out. So total of about 60 gigs of storage used on the um, mounted iSCSI drive. But when you actually go to the physical drive itself, you're only looking at um, 14, about 15 gigs of space used totage. So 60 gigs versus 14.8, that's pretty awesome. However, it should be noted that uh, this is all on one SSD drive, so even if one of those blocks, duplicated blocks, got messed up from an SSD, like, bad fault, then all the installations would be totally faulted. Really, you need, like, a redundant RAID with possibly like RAID 6 or RAID 
10 for raid one with extra drives would probably be optimal but still the space savings is, is worth it and the cost benefit now because you can still get better performance than out of standard um, 15k rpm drives for database performance or just running your operating systems off it still runs and boots faster let's go look at it start up all three of these machines Three machines booting up. Got 240 megs per second. Three megs per second. Bring your desktop. We're booted. That's still pretty good performance. Booting three machines at the same time off one single piece of storage. Wait, that's it.